Hey everybody, this is Rex Bear with Leak Project. Just wanted to give you a quick update on a headline that I saw last night. I wanted to bring it to your attention as soon as possible. A news article came out about a professor from Philadelphia's Drexel University that tweeted, all I want for Christmas is white genocide. Yep, that's all the professor from Drexel University wants is white genocide, ladies and gentlemen. He tweeted it. And then after he gets somewhat of an uproar, well, it's just a joke, and if you don't think there should be white genocide, then you're racist for not thinking there should be white genocide. It's a double slap in your face. Now, you guys know I could care less what color you are, what race or sexual preference or religious preference or spiritual beliefs. I don't care. It's who you are as a person, and it's what your actions do that dictate your life and who you are as a person, in my opinion. You might have a completely different opinion, and that's fantastic. Thank goodness we can all think for ourselves. But according to George Sicariano, from Drexel University, it's okay to tweet he wants white genocide, and then he'll use that to spin against somebody that speaks out about it. So why is it okay for Black Lives Matter? Why, why can't there be a White Lives Matter or a Yellow Lives Matter or a Rainbow Lives Matter or a Purple Lives Matter? You know, I, once again, I've got friends all different colors. Heck, I might even have little green friends that I don't remember because they use these really cool mind wiping techniques after I get abducted. I'm being sarcastic here. I'm joking. I hope you know that. But who cares what color you are? Does it really matter? So when somebody comes out and says white genocide, a professor for a university, mind you, how come that's okay? How is that okay? I don't understand it. And then what makes it even worse is you're a racist for not going along with it. How is that even logical? It's mind control at its finest. It's cognitive dissonance. It's this subliminal programming that's been going on now for years. And people should wake up about it. And the sad thing is, many of you probably have kids that are getting ready to go into college or in college right now. They might have professors just like this. Now, how does that create any healing whatsoever in the nation? That's strictly division. Strictly division. People have a right to be whatever color they want to be. <laughs> if you want to paint yourself fluorescent green and run around barking at people like a werewolf, then awesome. Have fun. But tweeting something like, all I want for Christmas is white genocide, especially with a, pos a position like being a professor, and then using that against people that are white. How wicked is that? So just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Drixel University, George Sicariano. Meyer, essentially. Uh, some people say he's a communist. Some people say that his ideals reflect communism, and he's written books about the radicalization of Venezuela that you might want to look into to verify some of those claims that I have heard. It's just, it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. You could be, let's say you're eight years old, and you're going to school, you're in elementary school, and you draw a stick figure with a gun and you get expelled from school. But if you're a professor at a pretty good university, I mean, not anymore, I have no desire. If I had, if I had kids in college, that would be the last place I would want them to go after something like that. And from the research that I've done, he hasn't even been fired. He's just, he's just been lectured, you know, a little slap on, oh, you can't talk like that anymore and we don't approve of it, but people do have freedom of speech. Could you imagine what would happen if a professor came out and said, all I want for Christmas is black genocide or, or Latino genocide or any other word but white? This just kind of, this, in my opinion, this shows me how powerful media, mind control, subliminal programming, and conditioning is because people are walking zombies. After a tweet like that, in my opinion, instead of coming out and saying it's satire, oh, it's just a joke. I was just kidding. Why don't you come out and genuinely apologize? Give a sincere apology. I mean, hey, people make mistakes. People say stupid things and do stupid things. Seems like that happens more often than not on Twitter and Facebook. Things like that can come back behind you. People make mistakes. I get it. So come out and apologize and be genuine about it. Or do what you're doing and build more division, more controversy. And this will prove the kind of person that you are and what you're trying to do to people. I just opened up the entire blueprint right here. It's very simple to see right through this retardedness. It's division. It's not unity. Division can be good 
It can be great. It can be awesome. And it can also be used in a very nefarious purpose, which I believe that's what they're doing in this circumstance. It's just a big media spin, play games on the masses, have fun with the, with the race wars, and we'll see where it goes. We'll see what happens to George at Drexel University. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord, also leapproject.com. Have a fantastic day and be the change you want to see. Question everything. <laughs>